What if I told you that everything you've been taught about the Big Bang is wrong? That the universe didn't explode into existence with a cosmic fireworks show, but whispered itself into reality in a way so impossible it breaks every rule of physics? And here's the part that'll mess with your head. In the next 20 minutes, I'm going to show you three discoveries that will make you question whether you actually exist. The first one involves your hands. The second will make you wonder if you're living in a cosmic recording. And the third, it's going to change how you see yourself forever. But first, let me blow your mind with something simple. Look at your hands right now. Go ahead, actually. Look at them. Every single atom in your fingers was once squeezed into a space smaller than this period. Not just your atoms, every star you've ever seen, every person who's ever lived, every moment of joy and pain in human history, all of it compressed into literally nowhere. But wait, that's not even the impossible part. The impossible part is that before that point, there was nothing. And I don't mean empty space, like when you clean out a room. This was a nothing so complete that our language breaks trying to describe it. A nothing that was somehow pregnant with everything that would ever be. Now you're thinking, how does something come from nothing? Here's where quantum physics gets weird. Even in perfect emptiness, particles just pop into existence for no reason. They appear, hang out for a fraction of a second, then vanish like they were never there. It's happening around you right now. If you think reality is starting to sound like magic, smash that like button, because what I'm about to show you next makes this look normal. The Big Bang didn't bang. It whispered. Not with sound. Sound didn't exist yet. It whispered with pure possibility, rupturing into reality. Picture this. There was no space for an explosion to happen in. No time for it to happen during. No stage, no moment, no place. And yet somehow, impossibly, everything burst forth from literally nowhere. Close your eyes for a second. Now imagine everything you know. Your body, your house, planet Earth, every galaxy we've discovered, all of it compressed into something smaller than a pinhead. That was our universe 13.8 billion years ago. This wasn't just hot. This was a uh, cosmic furnace where temperature itself breaks down, where time was still figuring out how to exist, where space wasn't expanding into anything. It was creating itself as it went. Think about that. Space creating space. It's like an artist who doesn't paint on a canvas, but conjures the canvas into existence with every brush stroke. But here's the question that should terrify you. If the universe is everything that exists, what was it expanding into? There was no outside. The universe was creating the room as it expanded. It's like asking what's north of the North Pole. The question itself doesn't make sense. And this is where your brain is about to explode. Because we're going to zoom into the most insane part of this story. The first trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. We call it the Planck Epoch. And it's basically where physics gives up and starts crying. In this impossibly brief moment, all four fundamental forces of nature were one. Gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, they were all part of a single perfect dance. But perfection doesn't last in our universe. Something had to break. Picture a perfect piece of glass, shattering in slow motion. 
except the glass is reality itself. That crack in perfection gave us everything. Without that cosmic heartbreak, there would be no stars, no planets, no you watching this right now. Actually, pause this video for exactly three seconds and think about that. Your existence depends on the universe's fall from grace. If you're loving this journey through cosmic mysteries, hit subscribe. We're about to go even deeper, and you don't want to. Miss what's coming. After that first moment, the universe went absolutely berserk. In cosmic inflation, space grew from smaller than a proton to larger than a galaxy, faster than you can blink. Imagine a grain of sand becoming Earth-sized while you're reading this sentence. But here's what should keep you awake tonight. Some scientists think inflation never stopped. While our bubble of universe calmed down, other regions are still inflating right now, creating infinite new universes with completely different physics. Drop a comment if you think there's another version of you in a parallel universe watching this exact video, but with different laws of physics. Now I need to tell you something that's going to make you feel very small. Look around you. Everything you can see, every building, every tree, every star, that's less than 5% of what actually exists. You are surrounded by invisible reality percent of the universe is made of dark matter and dark energy substances so alien we don't even know what to call them and here's the kicker this invisible stuff is in complete control it holds galaxies together it's tearing the universe apart it moves you shapes you and will one day unmake you and you can't see it touch it or even understand it. You are made of stardust. Yes, but you're also made of mystery. Your heart beats to a rhythm programmed by forces you'll never comprehend. But that's not the weirdest part. The weirdest part is what happens when we ask who's doing the observing. At the quantum level, particles don't exist in one place. They exist everywhere at once in a cloud of possibilities. Only when we observe them do they choose a specific location. Here's what's going to break your brain. If observation creates reality, then what was observing the universe at the moment of its birth? Some physicists believe consciousness plays a fundamental role in creating reality. You're not just watching the universe you might be actively creating it through the simple act of paying attention. This means reality might be incomplete without you. You're not separate from the cosmos. You are the cosmos becoming aware of itself. Comment below if the idea that you're co-creating reality just melted your brain. We started asking what came first, and here's what we discovered. Maybe it wasn't matter, or energy, or time. Maybe the IE first thing ever created was the question itself, the capacity to wonder, the ability to ask why in the face of infinite mystery. You are the universe's way of knowing itself. Every time you feel awe, the universe feels awe. Every time you ask a question, the universe asks a question. And here's the most beautiful part. In a universe that might be infinite and eternal, maybe consciousness and wonder are the most permanent things of all. So what do you think came first? Was it time, information, consciousness, or something we don't even have words for yet? If this journey through cosmic mystery moved you, smash that like button, and let me know in the comments what blew your mind the most. Subscribe if you want to explore more questions that'll keep you awake at night. Wondering about existence itself. 
because next week we're diving into something even more mind-bending. What if time doesn't actually flow? What if past, present, and future all exist simultaneously? And you're just discovering a path that was always there? Until then, keep looking up at the stars with wonder. Because in a universe full of mysteries, you're not just a witness to existence. You're an essential part of the story itself. <laughs>